Are you ready to crack the code on a career in military intelligence? Your ASVAB score holds the key to landing a top spot in cybersecurity and intelligence. Welcome to the U.S. Military Test Prep Channel by Study.com. My name is Dr. Steele. I'm a U.S. Army veteran and an ASVAB test prep expert. Cybersecurity and intelligence roles require strong analytical skills, problem-solving abilities, and technical expertise. But before you can join, you need to qualify. And that starts with your ASVAB scores. In today's video, we'll break down everything you need to know about ASVAB scores for cybersecurity and intelligence careers. We'll cover standard scores, composite scores, AFQT requirements, and how to interpret your results to land a role in these highly classified fields. All right, let's do this. The ASVAB is made up of multiple subtests that measure your skills in general science, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and mathematics knowledge. Additional sections include electronics information, auto and shop information, mechanical comprehension, and assembling objects. Your standard scores indicate how well you performed on each individual subtest compared to the other test takers. The average standard score is 50, meaning if you score a 60, you're above average, and if you scored a 40, you are below average. Each 10-point difference reflects how much higher or lower you are compared to the national average. For cybersecurity and intelligence careers, strong scores in mathematics knowledge and arithmetic reasoning, as well as general science and electronics information, are critical. These roles require advanced analytical thinking and technical problem solving, so high performance in these areas can significantly impact your job opportunities. Let's move on to the line scores you need to reach your career goals. Each military branch calculates composite scores or line scores by combining specific ASVAB subtest scores. These scores determine which jobs you qualify for. If you're looking to enter cybersecurity or cryptologic analysis or intelligence roles, you'll want to focus on specific line scores. For the Army, Cybersecurity and intelligence roles fall under the Skilled Technical, ST, and General Technical, GT, line scores. To qualify for jobs like Cyber Operations Specialist or Cryptologic Linguist, you typically need a GT score of at least 110 based on word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and arithmetic reasoning. Then, you also have to have an ST score of 105 or more based on your ASVAB scores in General Science, mechanical comprehension, mathematics knowledge, and electronics information. For the Navy, cybersecurity specialists and intelligence professionals require strong performance in mathematics knowledge, arithmetic reasoning, and electronics information. The Navy cryptologic technician role, which involves cyber operations, signals intelligence, and cryptography, requires a high electronics line score, typically above 157. For the Air Force, Line scores are also known as Mechanical, Administrative, General Aptitude, and Electronics, or MAGE. Intelligence and cyber roles fall under General and Electronics line scores. If you're aiming for a role such as Cyber Warfare Operations or Operations Intelligence, you'll need a G score of 64 or more and an E score of at least 70 based on General Science, Mathematics, Knowledge, and electronics information. For the Marine Corps, cybersecurity and intelligence jobs are highly competitive, so you need to ramp up your electronic and general technical line scores. If you're looking to qualify for Cyber Network Operator or Intelligence Specialist, you'll need a GT score of 110 or more and an EL score of at least 115 for cyber-related roles. Because these fields require technical expertise and problem-solving abilities, the higher your line scores, the better your chances of qualifying for these roles. The Armed Forces Qualifying Test, or AFQT score, is the most important ASVAB score because it determines if you can enlist in the military at all. The AFQT score is calculated using four ASVAB subtests, namely arithmetic reasoning, mathematics knowledge, word knowledge, and paragraph comprehension. Your AFQT score is a percentile ranking, meaning 
If you score a 70, you did better than 70% of test takers. The official minimum AFQT scores for enlistment is 31 for the Army, Air Force, and Marines, 35 for the Navy, and 36 for the Coast Guard. For cybersecurity and intelligence careers, you should aim for an AFQT score of at least 60 to be competitive. A higher AFQT score not only improves your job options, but also increases your chances of receiving security clearance approval. Different branches have different score expectations, but cybersecurity and intelligence careers demand higher than average performance. For the Army, jobs like cyber operations specialists require a GT score of 110 or more and an ST score of at least 105. If you're interested in military intelligence, a GT score of at least 105 is required. In the Navy, roles in cryptologic technician networks require an EL score of 157 or more. This means strong performance in mathematics, electronics, and mechanical comprehension is crucial. For the Air Force, cyber and intelligence careers typically require a G score of at least a 64 and an E score of 70 or more. Jobs like cyber warfare operations are among the most competitive in the branch. For the Marine Corps, cybersecurity specialists must have an EL score of at least 115 and a GT score of 110 or more. Intelligence specialists require a GT score of at least 105. Because intelligence and cyber roles often involve handling classified information, your ASVAB scores are only part of the equation. You will also need to pass strict background checks and obtain security clearance. So you've got your scores. Now what? Let's talk about how to interpret them. First, check your AFQT score to see if you qualify for enlistment. Next, look at your line scores to determine if you meet the minimum requirements for cybersecurity or intelligence jobs in your chosen branch. If your scores are too low, don't worry. You can improve them. Start by identifying which subtests need improvement. If you scored lower in mathematics knowledge, electronics information, or general science, focus your studies on those subjects. Using structured study materials like Study.com's ASVAB prep resources can help you strengthen weak areas. Taking practice tests is essential for boosting your score. A good study plan includes reviewing lessons, practicing under timed conditions, and adjusting your approach based on what you need to improve. If you don't get the score you need, remember, you can retake the ASVAB. The first two retakes require a 30-day wait, and any additional attempts require a six-month waiting period. Cybersecurity and intelligence careers are some of the most mentally demanding and technically advanced jobs in the military. If you're serious about these roles, preparing for the ASVAB is just the first step. You'll also need strong problem-solving skills and a passion for technology and the ability to think critically under pressure. And that's how ASVAB scores impact your future in military, cybersecurity, and intelligence careers. Understanding these requirements gives you the edge you need to prepare for enlistment and job selection. Whether you're just starting to study or you already have some scores to interpret, understanding what these numbers mean can help you begin your military career with confidence and find the best branch and job for you. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment with any questions or topics you want us to cover. And don't forget to subscribe for more U.S. military test prep content. You've got this. See you in the next video.